Thanks for stopping by I Did Not Know That Classic TV Edition. Please like and subscribe. Can I have just a little bit of time to think about it? Do it now. Coming up on this episode. When they saw the car approaching, they tossed the dummy onto the street where it was hit and run over. Boone said he shouted, You killed my brother. Richard Boone is best known for playing Paladin, the gunfighter from his acclaimed Western TV series, Have Gun Will Travel. Aside from that, he starred in many films before and after that series ended. He was as good at playing villains as he was playing heroes. But many years before any of this happened, he attended Stanford University, studying pre-law and English. But an incident there interrupted his plans, throwing his whole future in doubt. But it was a path that ultimately led him to becoming a successful actor and director in Hollywood. In October of 1935, Boone and his fraternity acquired a dummy and decided to play a practical joke. They called a buddy on the phone and asked him to drive over right away. Something important had come up. Then they took the dummy and hid in the bushes and waited for their victim. Their plan was to throw it out on the road just after a sharp curve so he would not have time to react. When they saw the car approaching, they tossed the dummy onto the street where it was hit and run over. Boone said he shouted, You have killed my brother. I'm sure the fraternity brothers were doubled over with laughter. But it didn't last long because they soon learned it wasn't their buddy driving the car. Out from the car jumped a middle-aged woman, oh horrified heavens. that she'd just run over another human being. She stumbled out and even sprained her ankle in the process. The fraternity brothers, realizing their mistake, quickly dashed off in different directions. As luck would have it, this middle-aged woman wasn't just any driver. She was Lou Henry Hoover, the wife of the former president of the United States, Herbert Hoover. To make it even worse, Hoover was a major financial contributor to the school. Unfortunately for Richard Boole, he was caught and ended up being expelled from the school. You might wonder why a Secret Service agent wasn't driving Mrs. Hoover. Well, it wasn't until 1965 that Congress authorized post-presidency protection for the president and his wife. While the story is humorous now, I have to think the whole thing must have been devastating for Boone and his family. His family was well-to-do and getting into Stanford is no easy thing. I'm sure he was terribly embarrassed about it at the time. He eventually ended up in the Navy during World War II and after the war, he used the GI Bill to study acting with the Actors Studio in New York. And that, my friends, is how Richard Boone went from being a college prankster to a Hollywood legend. One last note. Having read this story, I'm reminded of an episode Boone did in his fifth season of Have Gun Will Travel called Cream of the Jest. While he's not listed as the writer, by this time, he had tremendous input into the stories that were on this show. In this episode, Paladin comes into a town that has to deal with a resident practical joker. His jokes are not only not funny, but dangerous and mean-spirited. Anyway, the pranks pulled by the man almost cost him his wife and his life. Did Boone's own painful prank experience play a role in this episode? While I really don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me at all. Okay, one more little piece of trivia as we close this one out. What high school did Richard Boone attend? Believe it or not, the school he went to was Herbert Hoover High. You can't make this stuff up. Hey, thanks for taking time to stop by and enjoy some fun facts and a little nostalgia. We'll see you next time. Brother, the